Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The other day, I put up my first thrifting video and my subscribers dropped like flies. I mean, <laughs> the amount of subscribers that I lost, I was prepared for. I was completely prepared for and I totally get it. People subscribe to channels for specific content and then when you do, when you do out, something outside of that realm, you lose subscribers. So I was completely expecting it and I'm okay with it because I am creating content that I am enjoying. But because I feel like some of those may have been lost due to, you know, talking about shopping when so much of this channel in the past has talked about minimalism, I kind of wanted to give you guys like a little bit of backstory into thrifting. And I talked about it in my thrift haul, so I'm not going to go too in depth with that. But I did mention that I started thrifting because it became something that was therapeutic. What I didn't tell you in that video was that in the beginning of everything kind of like falling apart in my life, let's beat a dead horse with that. But in the beginning, I just kind of like looked for comfort wherever I could find it. And for many days and nights that just involved like scrolling mindlessly through social media, through Instagram, through Pinterest, and I started getting inspired and excited about self-expression. And a lot of that came from celebrity inspiration. So when I started thrifting, I immediately started thrifting celebrity like lookbook inspired outfits. I would see something that I liked on a celebrity and I went to go see if I could find that in the thrift store. I did this because I didn't want to get into the mindset and the habit of seeing an item and then going you know where every other blogger tells you swipe up to purchase this item. I wanted to shop in a way that not only was sustainable and good for the environment but also like friendly to my budget to my wallet. So I started thrifting celebrity inspired outfits. So I have been wanting to film this video for a really really long time and I hope you guys enjoy this. In this video today I am going to be thrifting three outfits inspired by Selena Gomez, Kendall Jenner, and Gigi Hadid. I think it goes without saying that these outfits are inspired by. They are not exact replicas. Let me just save you the comment now of, oh, it doesn't look anything like that or anything like that or that's not, you know, the shirt, the brand or whatever. I just inspired by guys. I think that I got really close with these outfits, but I just want to stress that they are inspired by. And in keeping with that inspiration and keeping with the way I choose to live my life, one of the things that I'm a little more choosy about are shoes because I don't want to bring in a bunch of shoes into my home that maybe are not the perfect fit or that I don't really enjoy. I tend to work with the shoes that I already have or I may purchase a pair of shoes if I see them it's a good deal and they can work with a multitude of outfits. And then I think another fun thing to note about this video is none of these items that I purchased are over five dollars. Not a single one. And I'm just really hoping that this video encourages you to if you see something on a celebrity that you like or maybe something that's super trendy at the time I encourage you to go to your local thrift store and see if you can find something similar rather than going and supporting fast fashion we're gonna jump right in with our first look which was inspired by Selena Gomez when I typed in celebrity street style on Pinterest Selena Gomez was everywhere like every third picture was Selena Gomez so I started finding that her style is really easy to imitate she tends to keep to really like basic really classic pieces so the first outfit I chose was this simple simple outfit with a race car shirt black jeans and a pair of booties as simple as this outfit is I actually thought that I was going to have some difficulty finding something similar because I don't tend to shop a lot of jeans in the thrift store unless they are like um, classic styles like Levi's or Tommy just because with those brands I know what to expect I know the quality I know the fit um, and so anytime I have to buy a pair of jeans outside of that realm I kind of get a little like antsy to have to sort through them but when I saw the jeans that she had on, I knew that they were not like your typical like Levi denim material and it looked a little stretchy. They looked like a little bit of a softer material. So again, I thought I was going to have a really difficult time, but I actually ended up finding a pair by the brand Celebrity Pink Jeans. I have them right here. You will see them in the B-roll. These are 
70% rayon and 29% polyester and 1% spandex. So they are a tight fit, but they are a stretchy material. Not only that, they have kind of the same look, the same appearance as the jeans that Selena is wearing. They are very, very comfortable. They're very soft and it has a similar fit to the photo. Then it came time to find a shirt. I did not think I was going to find a race car shirt at all. I thought that's such a such a niche item to be able to find in the thrift store. So I knew if I was going to have any luck, the first place I needed to look was the men's section. It's just kind of stereotypically where you're going to find an item like that. So I found myself sorting through the men's items, you know, trying to find a shirt that wasn't super baggy, one that was a little more fitted but kind of had a, a looser fit. So I had all this criteria going through my head. I looked through the men's section, didn't find anything promising, so I thought, what the heck, let's try the woman's section. I thought for sure I wasn't gonna find anything and then I came upon this shirt. This shirt, that came out funny. Not only does the shirt have a race car on it, but it is in the same kind of color family as the shirt that Selena is wearing. Selena's shirt has a little bit more of a warm tone than this one, but it still has a very similar look and it is very similar in the sense that it is simple with the race car, with a little bit of graphic behind it and with the font. And it has a very, very similar fit with the size of the sleeves, the length of the sleeves, the way the shirt fits on me. So. It came together perfect. So after that, I thought, what the heck, let me run over to the shoes and see if I can find a pair of booties. I showed the boots in the last haul, but I found these Gianni Beanie, Gianni Benny um, ankle boots, and they were almost like right on the mark of what Selena was wearing. I told you guys in the last video that I didn't love the heel and I don't love the point of the shoe, but I did buy these because they so closely resembled Selena's outfit. They also go well, they pair nicely with the outfit that I'm gonna show you next and they are just very versatile. So overall, I think I got an outfit that is pretty darn close to the original. The boots were $3.98, the jeans were $4.98, and the t-shirt was $2.98, making for a total of $11.94, less than $15 to spend on an outfit that very, very closely resembles Selena Gomez's outfit. And by the way, just as a side note, I don't know if this is standard in all Goodwills, but at my Goodwill, everything is like $4, $5, $6, and 98 cents. So that's why it sounds kind of repetitive. Next, we have an outfit inspired by Kendall Jenner. When I saw this outfit, I kind of figured, okay, I'm not gonna get it right on the money, but I think I can definitely, I think I can definitely find something very, very similar because I buy flannels all the time at the thrift store and I tend to always start at like the bigger section anyways. I work myself from the biggest clothing to the smallest just because I like things that are a baggier fit. I'm more comfortable that way. So when I walked in the men's section and I found this 3X flannel shirt, I was like, score, I hit the jackpot. The camera picks it up way more green than it looks in person. In person, it actually has a lot more blue and it has little like details of green. So it is in the same color family as the shirt that Kendall is wearing and it's super oversized. It's almost like the perfect, perfect replica. Obviously it's not the exact shirt, but like it is pretty, pretty darn close. Next we have the jeans. And like I said, with the Selena outfit, I just really despise buying pants that are not like the typical like Levi denim. It's just so easy to get like mom jeans. But I saw the pants that she was wearing and again, it's something a little different than your typical like Levi material. The color is a little more blue. You don't see as much stitching. It's a little bit of a smoother texture and the pants also had kind of a flared out leg. So when I tell you that I was shocked <laughs> to find these pants, I was shook it, guys. I was so shocked to find these pair of jeans by Express. They are a super soft material. You don't see a whole lot of the stitching and they have kind of the bell flared out bottoms. 
Now I will admit these are not pants that I'm obsessed with so I will probably end up selling them on Poshmark. However, I have worn them a few times before I started gaining weight. I've gained a little bit of weight. Now they're a little bit too tight on me. They're not the most comfortable. They're not the best looking fit. And then it goes back to these boots kind of sort of match the boots that Kendall is wearing in the photo. So it's kind of an instance where I bought a pair of boots that maybe I would have only gotten, you know, a little bit of wear out of them and I found ways to incorporate them into multi a multitude of outfits. So with this outfit, the boots were already purchased, of course. So the jeans were $4.90. And the shirt was $1.98 because it is a bit of a more worn outfit. So in total, this outfit came out to $6.96. And again, you guys tell me, you be the judge. I think it's pretty on the money. So I am happy with that find. Lastly, we have this outfit by Gigi Hadid. This is the outfit that I thought I was gonna have the most trouble with. It is a very specific outfit. You don't tend to find a lot of quality white pants in the thrift store, so I was already kind of shooting for the moon with that. I figured somehow I was gonna have to make that work. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but I was gonna figure it out. And then with the shirt, she is wearing a Metallica shirt that is, again, a very niche shirt. This is not like a solid basic shirt. This is a shirt that has very specific designs. It has something like some kind of like snake on the front and it has some ribboning and then it is a muscle tee. So I knew that if I could just find something that was kind of in the theme of maybe like a band tee or something with some kind of like monster or snake or whatever that I could work it in and make it kind of similar. So when I found these pants, it was another item that again, I was just completely shook. I found these white pair of linen pants. I saw them almost immediately in the pants section. I just went and started like grabbing white pants. And when I saw these, I put a few of them back because something in my gut just told me that these were going to fit and they were gonna work. And honestly, they are perfect. I wear them all the time. Just like in Gigi's um, picture, they are a bit on the longer side. They have a really loose fitting. They're tighter at the waist, so they are very similar to the ones that she's wearing. Obviously, hers are a little more like tailored to her body. They fit a little bit better for the outfit, but I got close enough especially considering like what I thought I was going to be dealing with that I am completely completely happy with these pants and I have gotten a lot of compliments on them. Then with the shirt I just went to the women's section and I started looking through to see what I could find hoping that I would find a band tee and this kind of worked out perfectly because it's an item that I would have bought anyways for a movie, a book series that I love. It is a Hogwarts shirt and it has the emblems and it has the ribboning, which is kind of similar to what she has on her shirt. And because these are kind of like mythical creatures, I just thought the theme was just too good. It worked out too well. And I went in, cut the sleeves, turned it into a muscle tee, threw on a belt, threw on some boots, and called it a day with this outfit. Like I said, this is the outfit that I was most shocked that I found something so similar. Again, I want to know what you guys think. If you guys think that these definitely are inspired by, if you're like, whoa, you missed the mark on this, please let me know because I'm pretty impressed with what I found. I'm pretty happy with it. The pants were $4.98. The shirt was $2.98, making this outfit a total of $7.96. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I put it off for a really long time because I was overwhelmed by like the thought of filming the video and editing it and whatnot. But then I just realized I wanted to keep it really simple because at the end of the day, I just want to encourage people to not necessarily jump on like the trendy things or the fast fashion of it all. I just want to encourage people to go check out your local thrift store you know, look into secondhand items, help the environment, help your wallet, just have fun and have items that everybody else doesn't have. Because I feel like right now we live in this world where everybody is like fitting into this cookie cutter mold. Everybody is starting to look the same and dress the same. And I know for me personally, it has been so therapeutic to just go and experiment and find items that are a little bit special or that, you know, have a story. It's been exciting for me. I want to encourage you guys to do the same. 
And if you like this type of video, please let me know down below. I think in the next video, if you guys want to see it, I'm going to do an outfit inspired by Meghan Markle. I'm also going to do an outfit inspired by Kourtney Kardashian. And I will see what else I can come up with after, after that. So if you guys want to see that, leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!